Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can get to your Calibre library on your computer from CoReader. Here we have a jailbreak Kindle Basic and here we have a jailbreak Kindle Paperwhite and both are running CoReader and also a Kobo Clara device that runs CoReader. So these three devices can get to my Calibre library on my computer quite easily. So I will show you in this tutorial on how to do that. So let's start by going to my table here. As I said here we have the three devices that can get to my Calibre library. At least I will try because uh, CoReader has that feature. So let's start by the Kindle Paperwhite. We go into the Kindle Paperwhite. We start it up. Waking it up. Here we have CoReader and my library of books. Uh, that is on this device specifically downloaded to this device from Calibre actually. So these are physically on the Kindle Paperwhite. But if we go up here in the top, we see we have menus. You need, by the way, you need to be out of a book. You can't be in a book reading. You need to exit to have it in your library here instead. So then you can go up here and find these menus. And the menu we will should, uh, use is this search menu. And down here you see the OPDS catalog. If we click here, you have some default OPDS catalogs already installed on your device. To add your own Calibre library here, you should click the plus button there and here you should add your details from caliber so for example you can call this connection caliber like so and here you should have your url and to get that url we need to find that in caliber so now we go to my caliber cam like so here we have Calibre. Let's uh, have some glasses here. Here we have Calibre. So if we go up at the top here, uh, we see connect and share. This menu, you will start the content server. You need to start the content server. And you should also start the wireless device connection server because that's another feature in CoReader that you can get to your Calibre library and send books wirelessly. But you should start the content server. And here, after starting the content server, you see the address and port that you should add to your Kindle device. Do you understand? So now we go back to the table cam again. And here we have the Kindle that should be added that address. And by the way, you see the username and password. If you have your Calibre library set up to only have it available on your home network and not uh, on the whole internet, I recommend you to have it only for your home network. Then this works much better without username and password. So in the settings in Calibre for the Calibre server, then you should not use any username or password. So now I should add those details as you saw in Calibre. This address could be quite different from yours, so don't uh, type that exact same address as I have. Your address could be different. And here we should type a colon. Where do we have a colon? Uh, here. A colon, like so. And then add the put to 80 by 80. You can set which put you want if you don't want to have the default here. But I want to use the default. And then we save this. Like so. 
Now you see that I have added the Caliber UPDS catalog down here. It's my own Caliber library. If I now click on that, it should connect to my Caliber library. I actually did that wrong, so please bear with me. I will show you once again the right thing. So you go into the UPDS catalog. This that I added had the wrong address. So let's long press and click edit. You should also add slash UPDS. That's important. I forgot about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the address from Caliber, like so, uh, colon, uh, the port slash UPDS. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Sorry for that. So click save after that. So now we can go into my Caliber library by clicking on Caliber. Here we have it. So here we have my different libraries. We can go into test books. It doesn't show that you choose the library. So you need to click there. So you see that it says library test books. Now you know that you are in the right library. So now you can go by the news, by title, by author and so on here or search for a specific book. So if I click on buy newest, you see the newest books on my library. So if I now want to download any of these books, let's say All the Fiends of Hell by Adam Neville, I just click on that and you see these options, download folder, it's the home folder that you set in CoReader. You have the file name and here is the type that will be downloaded, the file type. So if I now click on download EPUB, it will download it. But you can also see some uh, other stuff here. You can see book information. Here you see the metadata for this book, how many pages and so on. Uh, you can read uh, the blurb and so on. You can see the book cover by clicking there. You see the book cover works great. Uh, and so on. You can choose another folder to download to if you prefer. You can change the file name. So if I now click on download, it will download the book to this Kindle. Here you can choose read later or read now. You can click read now to open it immediately. And now the book opens and you can start reading. Works great. As you see here, works great <laughs> amazing actually so if you click up here and go to library you will see the book at the top here that you have downloaded from caliber works great so once again you click up here you go to the search menu you have the OPDS catalog here you have your caliber library here by clicking on it uh, you can search for all your libraries at the same time by not choosing a library. If you have many libraries as I have, you can also choose a specific library by clicking on that. So you see it will be there. Then you can search for a book from only that library. Or you can go into title, author, newest and so on. So you can click on that, for example, to see the authors in this library. Works great. You can also do some uh, caliber metadata search. I have never used that, but you can search for uh, books, authors and so on directly from your device here, instead of going to a library and search from there. I choose always choose to search from the library instead of using this. But you can if you prefer. So that's how easy it is to have this working and it works the same of course on the Kindle Basic, no difference there. You just have to um, do the same here, you go up here and OPDS catalog and add a new by clicking on the plus and do the same here to add uh, 
be able to use Calibre Library on your Kindle Basic that runs CoReader. And the same with a Kobo device running CoReader. You do the same, you go up here, you click on the search menu, you go to the OPDS catalog, and here you see I have already added different Calibre Libraries. I have one for only Swedish books, for example. That's quite easy to do directly here by adding that address from Calibre here. Here you can click on Calibre and here you have different libraries that's on the Kindle. You click on that and you see you choose that. And you can do the same here by clicking here, as you see. And you can do exactly the same, download book and read about the book and so on. Works great. So no difference there. So just do what I show you on the Kindle Paperwhite and it will work. This is a really nice and great way to be able to get to your Calibre library from your ebook readers directly and search for books, uh, authors and so on directly from your libraries. Works great if you don't use username and password. I have had troubles if I add a username and password in the Calibre settings. So I recommend not using username and password and only have your Calibre library available for your home network because then it doesn't matter if you have a username or a password. So please like this uh, tutorial. I need more subscribers, so subscribe to me also and please share this tutorial to anyone on the net please do that okay bye